Hello and welcome to Lesson Fashion Show. Our last part considers the fashion show, starting with the production of lookbooks, styling in photo shoots and finally, we will talk about fashion shows and other events related to the field of fashion. Once again, we used the questions to introduce this field, what and why. Starting with the question what, the production of fashion events can take place in the form of catwalks, photo shoots for campaigns, as well as the organization of lookbooks and catalogues. It is the final presentation and conclusion of previous months of creative work. Now on to the question why. Production is an essential part of any fashion design collection, but is also the hardest to conquer, as it involves a strong network. In order to build a team capable to recreate the collection in front of an audience, and promote the perfect event to present the collection to the public, and therefore, potential customers, as well as professional and influences of the fashion field. Now, let's learn a bit more about lookbooks. Lookbooks are collections of photographs that represent your brand and the theme you went for in your collection. In the digital era, lookbooks are much more than a few photographs of your looks. They can trigger sales, and for that, you should always guarantee that the click and direct is linked to your sale page. A lookbook can also be viewed as a catalog that should reflect the style and theme of your collection, be presented on a model with the right accessories, if needed, but always focusing on the garments. Lookbooks can also be a preview of some of the pieces that are not yet available on the market but are presented as pre-sale items. First of all, start by creating the outfits for your lookbook and put them together with their corresponding accessories for each model. You can lay them flat on a white table and photograph each look from the top in order to choose the looks you're going for. Models should also be called for a fitting session before the photo shoot. In order to sort each look for different models, remember that a good quality is key to present your looks in the best way possible. If you're skilled as a photographer and not professional, you should consider hiring one. After your looks are selected, photographed and each look is captured, you can start to put your lookbook together. Remember that it is important to respect a sequence. Each look should make sense. Just as if you were telling a story about your collection. Every item must be described and links must be available for your online customers to order the items in just a few clicks. If your lookbook does not have to present price tags and technical details, Every piece should be named and presented in order to respect your brand identity and make your customers less confused when they see the item in your website. Now, we will try to fashion shows. Fashion shows are the essence of fashion events, and although they were organized in the early days as fashion parades in the 1800s, their nature has changed quite a lot in the last few decades. Fashion shows are very expensive and therefore, least popular among the younger generations of designers. If you are starting your brand, chances are, you will not be financially able to produce a fashion show. However, fashion shows are not the only way to promote your work in front of an audience. You could also organize another event, such as a private sale in your workshop, inviting relevant people of the industry, as well as fashion influences and other professionals. Fashion shows take a lot of organization and a strong team used to organizing these kinds of events. Several meetings should be organized prior to the event and every member of the team should have their role clearly defined beforehand. After taking care of the venue, you should start sending save the dates to your most important guests. Take care of the press by sending them press kits and press releases. 
Make sure that every element of the team is taking care of their part, such as catering, security, seating chart, sound and lighting, models, etc. during each meeting. Now, let's see what elements you should consider in pre-production, that is, before the event. Now on to the post-production elements, that is all you need to organize after the event. Prepare a press release of the after event. Diffuse videos and photographs of the event. Use social media to thank your guests, the team, and everyone involved in the event. Send thank you notes for important guests and make sure every entity has been paid for the job they provided. We now arrived at the end of our lesson about fashion communication. We hope you know a little bit more about this creative field and are now able to communicate your work as a fashion designer.